the idea of having a 25 year strategy is to try and even out the troughs and peaks that actually happen with the economy because what we've seen recently is a complete stop on in 2008 when the crash happened everything stopped building construction all that sort of thing now we've got a boom particularly in Manchester and labor costs are going soaring through the roof because there aren't enough people because they were all laid off so the idea is how could that be done and as Frank McKenna the chief executive of downtown has said one of the things that could be done is to create investment banks here so that we start to get our own investment, fiscal devolution, because the Northern Powerhouse doesn't actually fully deliver on that. So if we could actually get finance from here, we could do something about it. Well, the leaders can will it, but it's, it's going to require the Northern Powerhouse to have an extra dimension to allow investment banks and for people to be prepared to set up investment banks. I mean, we used to have Williams and Glynn's Bank and all that sort of thing going back along. Would that be a collaboration between the public and private sector? I think it would have to be, yes. But then if we could get that, and so when the economy turned down, uh, we could actually say we can ride through this uh, because we've got this finance for these projects and then it would give confidence to the private sector to keep on building. That's the vision. The purpose of being set up would be to, f to fund infrastructure and that sort of thing. There wouldn't be sort of speculative banks and things like that. They would have that built into them. And there's a lot of work to be done on this but that's the, the vision. That's what actually came out at this seminar this morning. The beginnings of discussion about how we can actually fund the Northern Powerhouse on an ongoing basis and make it resilient when the economy goes pear-shaped. For the UK event, it's all about making sure that we're prominent you know, as a, as a city at that event. It's about attracting investment into the city. You know, that's why Midas are there in force. That's why the City Council is there in force. And for the private sector, it's about being there in support, having the networking conversations trying to bring employment opportunities, investment opportunities back to the city. Do you think Manchester will ever host a MIPIN UK? Ho hopefully. I know, I know when MIPIN UK started for the first time last October in London, you know, I know there were discussions about, you know, why is it in London? It was probably the natural starting place for it to be. And my understanding is that, you know, they've committed to three or five years for it to be in London. But, but given, you know, the political conferences, the other events that get hosted in the city now, there's absolutely no reason why not. And, and if MIPIN UK is really to thrive going forward, I do think it needs to become a UK event and therefore tour around the, the regional cities. It's similar in, in the sense that, you know, it is, you know, it has a high property focus still and people are looking a lot at property investment, property development opportunities. I think the difference we can is that it's more of a, an international, a European, a global event, and therefore you've got the players there from around the world. Um, you know, I, I do still think that our biggest opportunities in terms of getting investment and getting employment into the city are probably in London. You know, that it's the big London law firms who can put functions in Manchester. You know, it's the big London pension funds and investment funds who've got money to spend. You know, whilst we talk a lot about the overseas money, you know, there are far more, far easier pickings to be had in London than, than overseas. You know, we can't just focus on the overseas markets and being in London is a great showcase for us to, to help bring that money back to the northwest and to Manchester. Well, certainly this year we, we hosted at MIPIN UK a big event for a group of Chinese investors. So we hosted an event for about 60 Chinese investors. You know, it was fantastic that a big group of those came over to the, the, the Manchester Liverpool stand at MIPIN UK. So, so for us, it's about, you know, just providing the opportunities for people to do business with other businesses. You know, so that, that was probably a one-off because of the Chinese president. In, in terms of our other things, it's about if you're not there, you're not having the conversations, you're not trying to do business. You know, I'm a, I'm a great believer that if you don't ask, you don't get. And the, the reason I go is to, to be asking questions of people in terms of what their aims and ambitions are and see if we can help those, even if it's in three or five years' time. So it's not really to consume vast amounts of alcohol? No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was very impressed with the downtowns bringing together some of the main players in uh, the development of Greater Manchester. Um, there's a clear agenda, which is about the need to attract fiscal autonomy, the need to attract private sector investment, the need to do more on digital connection, and the, the need to do more to recognise 
the, the new opportunities, devolution of business rates, for example, uh, devolution of transport powers and so on, have got to be grasped. So really what I'm saying is that the future is in our hands. It, it's not possible to say that the government, any government, would give fiscal autonomy to, to a city region. That's not credible. And you wouldn't want it because the inequalities across the country would get worse. What we can do is lever in more private sector money that we control out with of the strictures of Her Majesty's Treasury. So we need independent borrowing based against our assets and our investment plans. We need to create a Northern Powerhouse Investment Bank. We need to look at having our own stock exchange. We need to spend massively uh, on attracting Chinese investment using Chinatown as our hook. We need to be a center for foreign exchange trading in the way that we were 100, 150 years ago. We need to do all of those things and we need to do it without waiting for London to tell us that we can. Manchester needs to be the leader and is the leader, so you've got to start from where you are. And we need to recognize that if you're in Hong Kong or Singapore or Silicon Valley or Sao Paulo, you don't think how far is Leeds from Manchester and he's Rochdale near Holton. You think Northern England, I know where that is. And that's the outside view. It's what I see all the time. People never say to me, oh, are you from Oldham or Rochdale? They say, oh, Manchester. OK, yeah, Manchester. And we've got to recognise that. It's just the reality. What came out of the seminar this morning, uh, which I thought was very important, was this point about the long-term planning, the long-term stability. And that fundamentally rests on political stability. Manchester has political stability and good quality leadership, uh, and you need both. Um, and that allows business to plan with some certainty beyond the normal four or five year uh, cycle. And I think that's absolutely critical. In a democracy, you get the advantages of that, which is that you can get rid of them if you don't like them. But the disadvantage is that you don't know what's going to happen in five years' time. Um, and if we can sustain that leadership in Manchester, uh, then I think we can really improve our GDP and our uh, prosperity of, of our people. Well, CVC Project Services are the 10th largest project management com company in the country. Um, and we're based in, based in London. We've got offices through Oxford, Manchester, Leeds and Glasgow. So we go through the spine of the country. Um, but with the Manchester office, we were based some, a few key, key clients that kept the office, kept us an office, kept us an address. But as we've seen the market growing in Manchester, we felt that we need to get in here, look at what's happening and sort of improve our, our footprint in the northwest. And we can see with the investment that's happening, it's a, a great time to do it. Yes, we see great confidence in Manchester. Um, so another side of our company is infrastructure. And we see the, the building of the infrastructure between the northwest sort of cities and regions as a, a great lever to uh, improving that investment um, in the in the region. Um, some of the clients that we're getting through are investing in residential. We've got the, the PRS side of things as well, and we're also seeing hotels and the investment in hotels, which obviously is on the back of the tourism and sports success of the region. <laughs>